high levels of E. coli have recently been found in Lake Jackson, and city officials are warning folks to stay out of the water at this time. That's tough. It's a popular spot. Morning Anchor Tanya Pruitt in Covington County today and has the details. Just a few days ago, Choctahatchee River keeper Michael Mullins collected samples of water at Lake Jackson and discovered high levels of E. coli. And with the potential dangers associated, Mayor Terry Holly wants people to be extra cautious. Anybody who has immune problems and, and what I'm saying, people with cancer, uh, open sores, and that's any time you go swimming or even in, in pools, anything else to do that, that it does, you know, it could be a problem for them. If you had a fresh tattoo, you know, don't get in the water. City officials want to remind people to respect our waterways by not throwing out soil diapers into the water. Dogs going into the water may have also been a contributing factor to the issue as well. And with the potential dangers associated, Mayor Terry Holly encourages people to avoid swimming until further notice. The rest of the lake is fine. We, we still have the fishing. We have everything else. Just the swimming areas because we've had a lot of people, especially since Memorial Day, uh, just a drastic amount of, of people coming in. And with the high volumes of people visiting, this summer, they want to be proactive and have placed signs all around the 500 acre lake that spans both Alabama and Florida. A water sample collected east of the pier was 433 E. coli per 100 milliliters, where the standard requirement to meet water quality standards for recreational waters should be 298 E. coli per 100 milliliters or less. More testing will be done next week, and the source of the bacteria is still unknown. In Florella, Tanya Pruitt, WDHN.